Hi everyone, welcome back to this channel zanifoy.com. Uh, thank you for watching this video again. Okay, now let's continue about my sharing uh, on the what uh, NG managers or RIMS okay, in Malaysia must know or should know to become effective or to become uh, easier for you to deliver or performing your duties as the energy manager at the organizations. Okay. Number six. Okay. Number six. What else you should know? Number six is about some knowledge and uh, somehow information about the uh, available uh, fiscal incentive. Okay. Normally, fiscal incentive come in the form of either grant, or tax exemption, either import, uh, import duties ex exemptions, you know, products, uh, uh, sales tax exemption and all that, okay, for related to energy efficiency, okay, or green uh, projects, okay, it, it can come in the forms of tax exemptions, you know, for example, if you want to invest, okay, you need to import some products, okay, and then you also can get some uh, import duties exemption for the products. And then you can get also tax exemption over your income for certain period as provided, and for example, as provided by MAIDA under the green tax uh, incentive. Okay, they got JITA, they got GT. Okay, so these are the information that I, I strongly believe, especially when the organization wanted to invest. Sometimes they overlook this one. Okay, so this is where you can advise. Okay, you should consider it. Consider that because if you include the uh, the the, the fiscal incentive the tax exemption uh, or that they will help reduce the investment cost okay of the for the organizations okay not only energy efficiency projects energy saving projects also uh, uh, this incentive also applicable for even uh, renewable energy projects other re projects recycle projects and all that okay so have some information and be prepared for this okay uh, at least agency that involved in processing in uh, for in, even for the application for the incentive uh, ideally even better you can help you can you know which which is the particular unit or department you know, or even contact person you know, that this incentive can be a source for the for the details by the company okay <laughs> okay that's number six about the uh, knowledge about the available incentive provided uh, by the government for energy efficiency or green projects Okay, the next one. Okay, the next one. Okay, uh, I think it's important. It's important uh, for you to also to have uh, quite a good information or knowledge about the what are the standards or best practices available in the market that are related to energy management in particular. Okay, this that can be referred by the organizations when they want to uh, have a proper energy management system in place or energy efficient management energy program in place okay even the this is where if even when you deliver okay deliver help them to develop the system at least you can you can tell them okay this is not based on my own interpretation of energy management system okay this is based on certain standard of best practice okay for example in Malaysia what a common two two common standard being referred when it comes to energy management system or sustainable energy management is the first one is uh, ASEAN Energy Management Scheme IMAS uh, Energy Management Goal Standard EMGS IMAS EMGS okay uh, that you know promoted among ASEAN countries by the government okay and then also the ISO 50001 the recent version is 2018 these two standards okay uh, our best practice Okay. Uh, actually, ISO 2001 is the uh, standard uh, issued by ISO. Okay, and then for the IMA NGS is uh, some kind of uh, guidelines, you know, uh, for 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 engineering system. Okay, so this even to you get, can go up to certifications. So it's always good to know, uh, good to ha to have that knowledge. Okay, at least you know uh, what the standard all about. Okay, how to adopt it, you know, how to uh, how to refer, how to make use of that. And what are benefits if you adopt, if you implement engineering system based on certain uh, good practice or based on certain standard? Okay, that's number seven. Knowledge about the uh, standard that are related to energy management. <laughs> okay, it's always good to know. Okay, even you know, uh, you know, you can even help them. Okay, to source up to certification because these two standard can go up to get certified for better recognition in the market. 
Okay, that's number seven. Okay, and then number eight. Okay, number eight. Okay, uh, you should have some idea or knowledge or information about what are the what are the common uh, approach or strategy. Okay, when it come to uh, identifying energy saving measures. Okay, how 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 to start? Is it to start with the big investment? Okay. And it all just go into the low and cost major. So where to where where to start? What the right strategy? <laughs> okay, I would say how to plan and all that. So what the right approach when it come to the energy management or identifying energy saving measures in particular when it come to this? Uh, this is expected because we are all engineers. Okay, uh, so what a common method and approach? Okay, for example, you know which one to start? Okay, just uh, go pinpoint certain equipment and do measurement and from there is enough. Or you can go, just do go and do uh, a walkthrough energy audit, for example. Options uh, on how to identify the same uh, saving measures. Just walk through energy audit and how far walkthrough energy, energy audit can give you when it comes to the uh, so-called solid recommendations. <clears throat> or number three, you can go even for to conduct a detailed energy audit or investment grade audit. <clears throat> Where... When it involves investment grade audit or audited energy audit, this requires resource, monetary resource, because it's not cheap or it's not free. You know that. <laughs> okay? So, this is the approach. Okay, and then, okay, this lead to number, okay, this lead to number 9. Okay? This will lead to number 9. Why is that? Let's say, Assume, assuming that, okay, let's say, uh, especially when now government uh, is uh, providing the grant now. They call it uh, Energy Audit Conditional Grant under the 12th measure plan. Okay, where companies under the MA 2008 can apply for this grant to conduct energy audit. This, they talk about the investment grade audit. Okay, investment grade audit. So, if you're talking about this audit, okay, this type of audit, right? Okay, what, what, okay? <clears throat> What are the requirements for this audit? Okay. How much does it cost? Okay. And what should be expected in the report of this audit? Okay. Uh, okay. So what, what is the requirement? Okay. And how much does it cost? Okay. And then what is benefits? Okay. And, if the, and then at the end, subsequently with the report, okay, what should be expected from the report? So if our job actually normally as a RIM, you know, as an engine manager, it should should be independent in assessing the report. So we have so you may, we must have some idea. First, what's energy audit? <laughs> okay, uh, what the requirement? You know, how, how what are resources required? Okay, uh, monetary resource, human resource, and all that. And then the report itself, you know, how to assess to qualify that this report is sufficient. Of course, with that amount of money to be paid, lah. <laughs> all right. Okay, that's the number nine. So you need to know what's energy audit, okay, and what you expect from the report of the energy audit, okay, and then okay, and then, and then this is the lead to number uh, number number ten. Number ten, uh, this is expected. This is I would say a must know, okay. Ideally, you you are uh, somehow know very well, okay, or in details in some areas. Uh, and or uh, and or okay at least you have some idea what's number 10 knowledge okay about the common energy saving measures okay in any facility either manufacturing facility or building facility okay normally i would say uh, commonly commonly you should know how to save energy okay where you should look at when it comes to uh, where the energy saving potential is. Okay, the first one normally common in building or facilities, or manufacturing facilities, you have normally uh, cooling and or air conditioning system. Okay, for building normally just air conditioning system. Okay, for comfort cooling. Okay, you should know where to save energy from the system, either centralized system, a package unit system or even split unit system. Okay, how to save energy in this uh, energy using system for the echo system in particular? How to save energy in chillers, okay, your pumps, chill water pump, condenser water pump, your issue, your cooling tower, okay, and all that. Your package unit, echo type, echo, water cool type, and all that. Okay, 
And then for, let's say for cooling system, normally for uh, uh, measuring facility, okay, process cooling. Similar, they have chillers sometimes. Okay, just produce the chill water, the cool water for the processes. Okay, that's normally cooling system. Uh, and then second one, normally, how to save energy at your, uh, this one mainly for uh, manufacturing facilities. Compressed air system. Compressed air system, yeah? or your oil, air compressor, your piping system for your compressor system and all that. How to save energy from that system. Okay, and then about uh, how to save energy in, at motors. Motors, is every, uh, motors are everywhere. Especially in the factories. Yeah? Some, I came across factory have thousands of motors. As big as one megawatt. <laughs> okay, as big as one megawatt. As low as maybe five kilowatt. Even lower than that. Okay. So, you should know how to save a motor. How to select the right motor. Okay. When, when it's supposed to, when it's the right time to change mo normal motor to, to so-called efficient motor and all that. How to go, uh, the best way to uh, uh, somehow to, 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 uh, to, to assess your motors. Okay. Okay. And then number, number three and number four. Okay. Normally, lighting system. I think this one applicable to all facilities. Even though lighting often not the biggest energy using energy energy users in the, any facility, but it's quite obvious, right? Lighting something obvious. You're talking about LED, you know, timer and all that, you know, potential uh, daylighting and all that. So you should know how to save it. So the number ten, basically, knowledge number ten. If you are not, ex I, I I I believe uh, many of you are good. You know, uh, expert or even no detail uh, in many of this. If not all, maybe it's one or two areas. Okay, about the how to save energy at the uh, so-called at the uh, at, uh, how to save energy. A uh, common sorry, common energy saving measures, knowledge and information about common energy saving. Measures. This is where you are always expected to to to, to tell how to save energy. Okay, I would say even during when you are for Malaysia, okay, when you are interviewed or being assessed you know, to become a real itself, this this is the common question, right? How to save energy? Okay, so that's why if energy manager don't know how to save energy, something is not right there. <laughs> okay, I think that's uh, enough. Okay, for this one. Uh, for this video, I think I will share the last video on this. What uh, uh, what energy managers, okay, RIMS uh, must know, okay, to become effective, okay, in discharging the duty as a RIM in the facility. Okay, with that, thank you very much. Okay, uh, please feel free to comment. Okay, if you feel this one useful, uh, kindly uh, share and don't forget to subscribe. Okay. And then uh, you have you want to communicate, uh, communicate with me? You can go to my website. Okay, uh, they got uh, the, the the tab on the contact us. Okay, even you can ask about what uh, what kind of uh, query accordingly. Okay, and then you can I'm I'm happy to respond to you all of you. Okay, and don't forget. Okay, uh, share and subscribe. Okay, uh, stay safe everyone. Uh, I'm my fifth day of the HSO. Okay, I'm getting better now. Inshallah. Okay. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh dan salam sejahtera, stay safe and stay healthy.